Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video I want to talk about SD cards. Now I have already done a video about counterfeit SD cards. In fact I've done quite a few actually, but I've done one recently um, showing you um, a counterfeit SD card. So here I've got two packages that I've opened. The one on the right, um, the large box is from Amazon and it's Amazon authorised and directly from Amazon. Uh, not a third party seller on Amazon. On the left is one from eBay. Now I've got two fake cards that I will show you. Um, and I just want to highlight some of the issues that you probably end up having. Um, basically when you start putting data on these cards um, you, it'll work for a while and then at some point you'll notice images not coming through properly or they're corrupted, or you, your computer can't read them, um, or even your, your, your camera can't see the pictures or videos. So that, that, that's a telltale, telltale sign to say you've got some fake ones. Now, an, an easy way of spotting them is checking for a serial number on the back. And if it's not embossed on the back with Made in China, and a, and a very small, tiny, hard to see serial number, it's probably going to be a fake card because what you'll find is either it'll be blank on the back, it'll either have a long serial number that don't make, don't make any sense, and it may even say made in China with, with a sticker on, but it may not be embossed into the actual plastic itself because they've not gone to the trouble to make these. And, and what they do to make it look like it's, say, a 64 gigabyte card and it may only be a 2 gigabyte card, is they remap the, the card with a computer and they try and fool your computer and your, your camera into thinking it's a 32 gigabyte, 64 gigabyte, 128 gigabyte, 256 gigabyte card when it may only be a 2 or 16 gigabyte card and what happens is once it's exceeded that amount of um, room your, your images are literally going to nothingness into the world of nothingness and you lose your imagery so a good way of checking these out and making sure they're genuine is to email SanDisk, take some pictures, phone them up if you want and send them some copies of information and if it has a serial number on there it doesn't make a lot of sense or it's a bit weird and you're not sure if it's legit send that to SanDisk in an email, email and wait for a response and they'll tell you if it's legitimate or not and the odds are they'll tell you it's fake so What's fake about these cards is the blank on the back, uh, the lock button is yellow, um, and on the other cards they're actually it's actually grey, um, and these cards are literally blank. Now they appear to work at the moment. The thing is, can you trust a card that's got no serial number on the back, not embossed with Made in China, um, and even if you go onto Sandis' own website it will tell you how to spot fake ones to the genuine ones. There's actually documentation that shows you the fact it should have a small serial number and a made in China um, on the back of it. Um, so I just wanted to highlight this as a major issue. Now hopefully we can bring that closer to the camera and then you can see, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it doesn't say made in China and there's no serial number on that card at all. Now on the front of the on, on the front of the actual SD cards, um, it looks legitimate. Apart from say the lock button that's yellow, you would think it is legitimate this, this SD card. But it's not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you listen to my call that I had with SanDisk and you can hear their advice and um, it'll be informative to everyone to understand about legitimate and fake SD cards. Um, I have been fooled a few times if I'm honest with you and I have lost some very important imagery, um, some crucial imagery and some imagery that uh, pertains to you know family members you know and I'll never get those moments back ever. So. If you are thinking about doing a wedding and you think, ooh, some cheap SD cards online, and you, you may find some cheap ones off Amazon, and because it's on Amazon, you might think, ooh, it, it, it must be a legit one. Check the seller details. Make sure it is Amazon Direct. 
not a third party seller because there are many cars on Amazon which are third party um, sellers and they're probably going to be forgeries, fakes, counterfeits and if you do send a message, this is a message to all sellers on Amazon, third party sellers and all sellers on eBay. Do you realise it is a crime to counterfeit a product and sell it? It's illegal. It's against the law, punishable by, by the courts and you will go to prison if um, you do it enough. So I just want to make that point that it is highly illegal to counterfeit SD cards and sell them. Anyway, listen to this call and tell me what you think. Thank you for calling Sandy's customer care. During the call, you will be requested to provide certain information, such as your name, your contact information, and information about your Sandy's product. This information will be collected in accordance with EU data protection laws and Sandy's privacy policy, and will be only used to service your call and to compile statistical data for improving our products and services. To agree and continue to a support agent, press 1. To hear more, press 2. If you are calling to check the status of your RMA, please go to rmastatus.eu.sandisk.com. If you would like to speak to a customer care representative, press 1. For quality assurance, your call may be recorded and monitored. Please hold for the next available customer care representative. <laughs> Did you know that you can now find answers to frequently asked questions, register your product, or submit a warranty replacement request online? Simply go to www.sandis.co.uk and select support. Thank you. Good morning, thank you for calling Sandy's customer care. My name is Maria, may I please have your name? Yeah, it's Paul. Okay, Paul, is this uh, the first time you are calling us or you already have a case number with us? No, it's the first time. The first time, okay, great. Uh, can I please have your last name also? Okay, Paul, uh, can I please have a phone number in case the call is disconnected so I can call you back? Yes. Uh... Okay, uh, how can I help you, Paul? Which Sandisk product do you have? Right, I um, have an Extreme Pro um, 64 gigabyte uh, SD card. Yes? Um... So I've I've purchased two of these off um, a seller on eBay. Okay. And um, <clears throat> I I've had some experience with um, counterfeit cards in the past. Um. So obviously I'm a bit dubious. Um. So the card I, I've received has no serial number on the back of it whatsoever. Nothing, nothing at all. It's just blank, it's plain. Um there's nothing on there. Um the lock button e um that's on the side of it is yellow in colour. Um you see I've got two two identical ones to this that I got from Amazon. Um and they do have uh -huh. they do have serial numbers on them and it and it's embossed with made in China on the uh Am yes, on, on the Amazon, exactly. On the Amazon ones. But these that I've received from eBay, um, which I paid approximately, mm -hmm. I think it was £16 each or something like that. Um, they're just plain. Should they not have a serial number on the back of them? Um, yes, Paul. This type of uh, card have a serial number on the back side. 
is this a also is this a, is this a common occurrence sorry it is a, a common is is this uh, happens regular um people ringing up about ebay possible cards being counterfeit possibly counterfeit counterfeit uh, yes it is possible because uh, eBay is not uh, one of our official uh, resellers. Yeah. Like Amazon, for example. Yeah. Amazon uh, is one of our official uh, resellers. Yeah. And so, if you if you want. I can send you I can send you by email a confirmation in case you want uh, to use it uh, to ask for your money back. Well, the thing is, I've spoken to eBay about it because obviously eBay has yes. has individual sellers. eBay is not responsible directly, yes. and um, they've said I, I I can send the card back and get a refund, right? Um, but Yes. But but my point is obviously Sandisk is a, a major record pill company in terms of making SD cards. And um am I not just sending some illegal that's back back to a seller that might resell it again? Is that not would you not consider that a criminal thing to you know, return something in order to get my refund, obviously. Um, and I, I, I would. Uh, no, I, I don't think that uh, it would be illegal. Uh, that's why I also offered to send you an official email from our side that these cards are counterfeit. The thing is, right? Um, a couple of years ago, I had um, um, yes. so, an, an extreme card. Um, wh where you guys did send me an email confirming the fact that the because I did send some photos of the card you see to to the email mm -hmm. to, to Sandis direct email yes and yes. And, and they replied exactly. and they replied and said these cards are are, are counterfeit because they should they should have a serial number on the back of it. Yes, yes, Paul. Yes, uh, this is a normal procedure we are following. Uh, would you like, uh, please, to give me your email address? Um, I've actually already emailed um, Sandis through through your website, so I'm I'm just waiting for a response. Ah, you have already. Ah, okay. Um, do you have a case number or something? Uh, oh, let me, let me check, let me check. Uh, give me your email address. With which email address you sent the uh, request? Um, the, um, I think it's called Sandisk uh, Global Customers Care. Okay, your email address? Okay, I will find uh, the case. Uh, yes, yes, Paul. I can see your uh, I can see your request. Give me a moment, please. Yes, I think that you have created two cases about uh, this issue. Uh, potentially, yeah. It is the same. Okay. Mm. Okay, great, uh, Paul. I'm going to answer to you right now. Right after uh, our call. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, I will be waiting uh, for the photos. And then I will, uh, I will send you the official uh, reply from our side. Yeah, that's, that's fine. So, so just to clarify, um, there, there should yes. be a serial number on the back of uh, Sandy's cards. Uh, it depends on the model. But uh, yes, all our all our cards have a serial number on the back side. Yeah, yeah. 
That's what I thought. Uh, I just wanted to check, you see, because it's it's really unusual for me to see. E even even the fake SD cards tend to have some sort of weird number on the back. Um, yes. But but yes, and then we confirm if it is uh, correct or uh, or no. So would you always recommend that customers who are unsure of SD cards give give you a call or send you an email? Which would you prefer? Uh, yes, yes. We look when you call us. We we'll ask uh, for the serial number, and we can identify if uh, the card is uh, fake or not. Uh, if you send us an email, uh, keep in mind that uh, it takes two business days to yes. get a reply. Yes, that's fine. And also, we 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 also have uh, chat support. A live chat yeah. for you. Yeah. That's right. You can contact us via chat. But uh, don't worry, since we have already spoken on the phone, yeah. uh, I have located your email and I will reply. I will reply to you directly, quickly. All right. Thank you. Okay, is there anything else I can help you right now, Paul? No, I just wanted to get some clarification, you know, so I can advise people that I know okay. as well. Um, of course, of course, please, uh, please do do so, do it, because uh, we have also a brand protection team. You see, um, I'm also a, a, U a YouTuber on YouTube, and I, I do give advice on on counterfeit cards to other people. So great. So I, I'll pass on all of the information you give me to to those people, um, to help them advise them on what to do. Yes, that would be very helpful for us uh, too. All right, thank you for your time. Thank you very much for calling Sandy's customer care. You may also receive by email a customer satisfaction survey uh, to evaluate uh, my support. All right. If I help, help you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Paul. It has been a pleasure. I'm going to write uh, the email now. Okay. Right. Thank you for your help. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day, Paul. Thank you for calling Sandy. Bye. Bye bye.